If you plan to do any real-life application development in Power Apps, you will come across this term called collection. It's very important uh, concept that you use in your real application and it's also very handy uh, in prototyping some concepts very quickly uh, without having to connect to your backend data store. Uh, so we are starting this uh, video series on collection in Power Apps. Hope you will like it. So what is collection in Power Apps? Uh, let's go through some high level concepts. So think of collection like a table. So collection is a table, uh, but it's a table which has data only in Power Apps memory. What does it mean? Memory of Power Apps is a temporary memory. So that means when the user closes the application, the data is gone. So unlike the databases, like SQL database or SharePoint or a common data service or Microsoft Dataverse, this, this data will not be saved, will not persist uh, when the user closes the app. So it's only temporary. So think of this as a temporary table in Power Apps. Uh, so like I said earlier, it's very similar to tables or list in data stores like SQL database, SharePoint, Microsoft Dataverse, uh, which was earlier called common data service and many more backend stores like that. Uh, but the difference is that collections are only in the temporary memory. So uh, before we uh, go into details of how to use the collection and uh, build some real applications using the collection, which, which we will do in this video series, let's first understand why do you need a collection? When would you use it? What are some example use cases? Here's one example. Uh, Power Apps has this inbuilt concept uh, where you have a control called gallery and in gallery uh, you can create a gallery with sample data and if you think about that sample data it's nothing but a sample collection in the memory. So let me show you how that works. So here's a very blank canvas app that I have in Power Apps and very quickly if you go to insert and try to insert this control. You see different options. There's some blank vertical or horizontal kind of gallery, but there's some that you see, they have some kind of sample data. So I click on that and by default, I get a gallery with some sample data. And if you notice the data source, the items of this gallery, it says custom gallery sample. Basically, this is a collection. So tomorrow, if you want to just try out a few things, prototype some things very quickly uh, before having to have a database, you can just create your own collection and see how the data looks in the gallery. And we'll do something like that in the future video in the series. Uh, let's go back to the use cases. What are some other reasons why you will want to use the collection? Um, you might want to create a menu option like this. Uh, which looks very cool. It has thumbnail, it has menu options. Clicking on different option takes you to different screen. In fact, we had done a video uh, on creating some menu like this earlier. Uh, so feel free to look at that. Collection is very useful for doing something like this as well. Uh, you don't need to have all this information in database. Uh, you can even create a bottom menu like this. You'll use the similar concept and we'll build something like this in this video series at some point. Um, Here's another example, a cool app where uh, this app uh, takes the camera clicks and the picture that gets captured, they're shown as tiles in a gallery. And for showing that in the gallery, it's captured in the collection, which is a temporary table. Uh, we had done a video on this also, so feel free to take a look. Uh, we'll see in this video series, if it makes sense, we'll again do something like this. Uh, as part of collection tutorial. Here's another uh, useful uh, use case where collection is going to be very useful is you're getting your data from the backend. So your data is in your backend data store, which could be your database, SharePoint, Microsoft Dataverse. Uh, and in your Power Apps, you are getting that data, but you also want to cache it. Caching it means once you get that from the data store, you don't want to keep getting it again and again because that's going to lead to unnecessary back and forth traffic between your Power Apps application on the client side and the database. 
uh, and it also leads to performance issue. So you may want to put that in local collection for just performance reasons or doing some data manipulation uh, and then assuming that it doesn't change uh, even if the uh, app crashes or user closes the app the data is not required because that copy is saved anyway in the database uh, but you can also do uh, some changes on the client side and save it back to the database and in the series we will do some kind of examples like that so hopefully uh, these four or five use cases give you a good idea of uh, why collection is important when to use it uh, in future videos we'll get into more of mechanics of how to use it uh, but for this video let's do some pop quizzes and see how much of concept did you gather so first question uh, leave your answer in the comments or uh, email me i'll uh, leave my contact email at the end it's hello at cloudetica.com um, so first question where is the collection data stored and for how long it is stored so I'll repeat first question where is the collection data stored and for how long it is stored uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you here's the second question uh, imagine that an app gets list of tasks stored in SQL database and it shows in a gallery control do you think collection can help here in some way and if yes in what way so your data is in SQL database your app shows that data in gallery control do you think collection can help here? If yes, how? If no, why not? Hopefully these questions, answering these questions uh, should make the concepts more clear. In the next video, we'll go into more mechanics and we'll do an example of creating a collection and showing the data in the gallery control. Hope you like this video. Hope it, this gave you enough motivation to learn more about collection and you'll watch other videos in the series. Stay in touch. Uh, keep looking into our videos on YouTube. We post regular articles on Medium. So you can go to cloudatica.medium.com or medium.com slash at cloudatica. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our newsletter or get some help on training or coaching, email us at hello at cloudatica.com or visit our website at cloudatica.com. Thank you. Have a great day.